Natalie, Magic, Essence, Incense and More. Initiation to Case Magical Spells Part 3 Once the altar is ready, I will cleanse myself physically and then with copal incense, and then clean up the entire room with the copal incense. The tools and ingredients that will be used for the ceremony will be also cleaned of all bad energy with copal. Before I start, I make sure that I will not be interrupted by anything during the ceremony and shut down any telephone or cellular. I also make sure to answer any calls of nature beforehand. Then the actual ceremony can begin. It always follows the same ritual that I have worked out over the years. I meditate to empty my mind of all extraneous thoughts and to get rid of any bad mental energy. Then I visualize what I am trying to accomplish with all the spells I plan to do during the ceremony and the impact that they will make on the people I am planning to help. 3. I then gather my mental energy and then call to me the powers of the earth and the universe to add themselves to my own. 4. In a loud voice, I declare a statement of the intent to let know to the universe what I plan to do with the gathered powers. 5. I then cast a magic circle of power all around my altar. 6. I anoint my ceremonial candle and light it. 7. I invoke the powers of the universe to join me and share their energy in my ceremony. 8. I bless the ritual space. 9. I anoint and light the main candle for the ceremony. 10. I cast all the spells I plan to do in the ceremony. 11. I bless the cake and honey. 12. I conclude the ceremony. 13. To recharge the huge amount of energy, I use casting the spell. I eat part of the cake and drink a bit of the wine, leaving the rest as an offering to the universal soul. 14. I meditate to clear my mind from the trauma of the work. 15. I snuff my ceremonial candle. 16. I release the circle of power so that I can leave the ritual space. 17. I normally leave the altar untouched until early next morning, unless I need to do another ceremony later on the same day. I leave the main candle burning until it is burned and bury the remains safely. I normally try to do a single large ceremony daily, unless the volume of spells needing to be done is too much, or different requested spells can conflict with each other, so they need to be done in different ceremonies, with a thorough cleaning in between. I normally take a day off from doing magic once in the week to recharge my powers. If I do not do so, it takes too much out of me mentally and physically.